direct strong natural light is uh, you know good to kind of check your progress we've pretty well got the body in its uh, final configuration and and finish we may do a little bit of sanding but uh, the, the cork has a natural texture to it obviously and so we're not trying to remove all the texture we're just trying to remove some of the facets and ripples that uh, occur when you when you cut something uh, with a knife or uh, rasp or something like that so uh, kind of looking at it in this sunlight it uh, it's actually looking about like I want it uh, so what we're going to do now is enlarge uh, these these holes that we drilled with the number eight countersink and then we will uh, uh, we're enlarge them with a with a drum on a little sanding drum and uh, then we're going to set the eyes stay with us this is the uh, the little sanding drum that I use to uh, uh, enlarge the eye holes in the decoy this is a like a three speed it's a relatively inexpensive black and decker uh, I think the sanding drum actually came with the uh, the rotary tool. It's kind of, you know, they kind of come as a set. Uh, basically, I put this thing in and I never take it out because that's all I use this for. I have a Dremel and I have a Fordham, so this is uh, kind of just the eye setting tool. And uh, this uh, this is uh, slightly under 3 8 I'm not sure exactly what the size is, but uh, you can kind of get a feel for it. You put it in there, wobble it around, and enlarge and, and constantly test fit to make sure that you're not making it too large but uh, just uh, check your progress often and just make sure you get a, a good fit but not being too too sloppy or too tight i'm going to use uh, this is a, a three speed and uh, it's variable from here i'm probably going to start off with a low speed just because i don't want it to be too aggressive and too loud don't want it to be too aggressive but basically i'm going to put it in here and you can see with that right there i mean it just goes in there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in there and wallow it out just a little bit and uh, slowly enlarge that opening You can see it's just still just slightly too small that was with the first pass so we will uh, we will do it again now if you get your eyes stuck test them just one at a time and don't leave them in there if you get it stuck you can always press through this side since that hole goes all the way through and uh, push it out but be careful not to scratch the back or the front you don't want to scratch the front but uh, you want to uh, not scratch the back either because that's where the the color resides the color of the eye and if you scratch that it'll show through Okay, we've got it to where it will just pop out when I turn it over like that. That means it's uh, not too not too tight and should be fairly uh, sufficient for setting in the epoxy. Okay, got the second one set. And uh, now, one thing I do want to say, unless you're using the real uh, high quality, uh, expensive eyes that are you know very competition grade, uh, stuff like that, there can even be a little bit of minute differences between the two eyes and even in the same pack. So 
just because you got one to fit doesn't mean the second one's going to fit automatically. So just always check them. If you need to, you know, take a little Sharpie or something on the back, put a little mark, you know, that way you know the left from the right. That way you always size them up the same way. This is the uh, eye from the right side of the decoy. And they are uh, kind of fitted to each individual side. So I put a little black dot right in the pupil so that it can't uh, interfere with the, the rest of the eye. But the, the right has a little black dot. That way I always put it in the right side of the decoy. Thanks for joining me today. Next time we'll actually take the uh, epoxy and uh, set them into the sockets and mold the eyelids. And then we'll seal it up. I know I keep saying this. We'll seal it up and then we'll be ready for paint. So until then, go make some shavings. You'll feel better.